Okay, so we just the uh, had a window in the weather, so I'm just going to come out and try the old controversial A2 flight controller. I've grafted it onto this Y6 with a single DSM2 satellite on it because uh, that's the only one I've got, uh, so I ain't going to be flying too far away. I haven't got anyone else to film for me, so I've got it on a chesty, and so I'll put some really bright lights on so we can keep an eye on the GoPro, but I'm not going to be flying it too far. Um, so I'm flying on a DX8 at the moment, I'd normally fly DX18, so I don't know how many channels I'll be able to get out of that through the DSM2, but anyway, hey-ho. So we're going to power it up, and we'll just see how long it takes the satellites to get up to speed. Um, I've got the iPad as well to make some on-the-fly adjustments if I need to. Um, I'm saying we're manual at the moment and it shouldn't be. So what's going on there? Oh, great. Okay, I need to have a look at that. So let's just plug the other pack in. I forgot my battery alarms as well, so that's going to be a bit of a swine. And so we'll just give it five minutes at a time, I think. Oh, we've got oh, home point there. Uh, okay, so still waiting for satellite. So we'll just fire the iPad up. And uh, let's see if we can connect. It did last night. And yep, yeah, there. Although the light doesn't flash um, to say it's connected, and it's not asked me for a password. It's a bit spooky, but there you go. Um, so yeah, it's so all me stuffs in there. I've just set me pitch and roll as normal to start on a Y6, and then I've enabled it on the. DX18, uh, DX8 to do it in flight. Last time I did that with the V1 of the software and the first iPad one, it sent it absolutely loopy. Um, <clears throat> so uh, that'll be interesting. I've also set um, a return to home switch on the DX18, on the DX8 again. So we'll try that before we do any, um, we do any TX failure testing so okay we've got satellites so let's fire it up and see what happens I've done the GPS calibration at home which isn't that far away and I'm going to be flying over some oh hang on a minute let's uh, let's put the blinders on so we can actually see it at a distance And um, so, first flight, let's see what happens. Okay, well straight away the games need adjusting up. So I think I'm going to enable that switch on the games. Okay, let's just uh, land there and... So I'll enable, uh, how do we do this now, advanced, um, not use this, so that's fail safe, basic, gains, there we go. So I'm going to enable pitch and roll onto K1, uh, K1, right. K1, right, so that's done that okay, so let's try it again and see what happens to them. Okay, so this should increase the gains, Wee, not that much. I'm not carrying a lot of weight on it, so I'm not expecting it to be uh, brilliant. Okay, so now we're just sat in GPS 
it's a little bit on the wobbly as I say it's not heavy enough for this uh, motor prop combo I need to stick another set of packs on it really um, vertical mainly just doing a little bit um, and your as well but again this is just really just to see how it flies what it feels like and what GPS is like and at the moment uh, GPS is looking pretty good um, it's not too windy at the moment um, so who knows I think the vertical needs trimming up a bit but again not too bad let's have a little flight Woo! That is, uh, I need some, maybe Atty needs taking down a bit. Okay, it's taking a bit of use, getting used to. It's a lot different than version one, that is for sure. Um, it's a lot quicker. The old, the version one seemed really soft, but this is quite, woo. Obviously I haven't got any weight on this thing, so it's like a rocket ship at the moment. Um, It is quick to respond. One of the problems with version one was the uh, oh, I've lost GPS. Why? And why isn't it not gone into Atty? That's interesting. Why is GPS gone? That is interesting, don't know why that's happened. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is just land it and disconnect the Bluetooth from it. Whee, there we go, it's off. <laughs> Doesn't want to go anywhere. I'm in GPS now and it's got all satellites and it wanted to be off. What's going on there? Let's just take it back over the grass. Okay, so um, I've got full GPS again. Why it dropped GPS out, I don't know. Had a little bit of an issue there where it wanted to shoot off backwards and to the right, nearly into the trees. Um, why it lost GPS then, I don't know. Let's give it, um, maybe because I was throwing it, so let's just give it a bit of a... What I found on uh, version one also is that if you did throw it around a lot, that's when it seemed to want to go off on its own in GPS. But right now it's, apart from that little glitch, it seems to be okay, but what that GPS was about, I don't know. Um, again, last time I had the Bluetooth connected, it wasn't, it didn't like it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna land it. Them games are all right for now. I'm gonna land it and uh, just turn off the, um, the Bluetooth, disconnect the iPad. Uh, it's done its purpose. I don't need it anymore for now. So, and I'm probably just gonna, I'm probably just gonna restart the thing. Error. Abnormal compass data. Ah. So, see, that's what we got. So, it has thrown an error up on the iPad, which is not bad. So, do we do a calibration? Hmm. Ah, can we do a calibration from this? I wonder. I think we used to be able to do. 
um, view basic aircraft RC gains advanced where we go uh, bush limits gimbal fail safe uh, let's see uh, maybe you can't I thought you could do a compass calibration from here okay let's uh, I'm gonna do a compass calibration on it and see what uh, what that's all about okay usual compass calibration Oop. get it away from the table okay okay so that's compass recalibrated um, so let's just reboot it all again I forgot my pack alarms but I should be able to see the voltage on my radio and so I'll just reboot it uh, yep so let's just see what the voltage ah oh, no can't see it because I ain't got any telemetry bastard never mind that's what the old one of the issues is so I'm going to reconnect to the controller well, we've got GPS almost so let's see what happens now okay I think I'm just going to change the ATI down a bit oh, basic uh, gains ATI let's just turn that down a tad let's go down to back down to 100 Right, oh, 100, and right, and we wanted a bit more on the vertical, so let's go up to 10 on the vertical. Mm. 